Radio Romania International. You are listening to our one-hour broadcast in English for listeners in Western Europe and Japan. We can also be heard on the internet at www.ri.ro, Channel 1. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter and other social media platforms. Our programs are also available on TuneIn, Radio Romania International 1, and in Europe via satellite Utilsat 16A on 11,512 MHz, vertical polarization, azimuth 16 degrees east. We wish you good reception conditions. Johannes is taking part in the extraordinary EU Council meeting during which an additional financing package for Ukraine worth 50 billion euros was approved. The Romanian government has urgently amended the cybersecurity law after a recent cyber attack on the website of the National Directorate for Cybersecurity and the Chamber of Deputies. And Romanian senators and deputies started a new parliamentary session. Prime Minister of Ukraine, Denis Shmihal, welcomed the European Union's decision to approve an additional financing package for his country worth 50 billion euros. The EU member states once again showed their solidarity and unity in supporting the Ukrainian people to resist the war, Shmihal wrote on the online social networking platform X. Previously, the President of the European Council, Charles Michael, announced on the same platform that all 27 EU member states approved this package. According to some European diplomats, the EU agreement includes annual discussions on this package and the revision of the plan in two years, if needed. The Romanian President Klaus Johannes reiterated that Ukraine must remain a priority for the Union and support for this country must continue both economically and military. The Romanian government has amended the cyber security law in an emergency procedure so that state institutions should be informed within 48 hours at most if the IT infrastructure of any entity in the country is affected and to quickly prevent risks. The changes were made after the cyber attack on the website of the National Directorate for Cyber Security and the Chamber of Deputies. The Minister of Research and Digitization, Bogdan Ivan, pointed out that in the case of the Directorate, the attack was not successful, while at the Chamber of Deputies, over 300 files with public documents were stolen, as well as data not intended for the public, such as copies of identity documents of parliamentarians, including a copy of the identity card of the Prime Minister, Marcel Jolaku. Consequently, he will have to change his ID card. Romanian senators and deputies on Thursday began a new parliamentary session, the first of this year. Among the priorities of the and the are the projects needed to fulfill the milestones in the National Recovery and Resilience Plan, as well as those related to gambling and combating drug use. In turn, the opposition wants to stop possible tax increases and to prevent the violation of the Constitution. Thousands of Romanian farmers from the vegetable sector are expected at the offices of the Payment and Intervention Agency for Agriculture, APIA, to request the support offered by the state in the context of the losses suffered due to the war in the neighboring Ukraine. Requests for the compensatory payment must be submitted by March 8 at the Apia County Centers. The direct grant represents a compensatory payment and is the equivalent in lay of 100 euros per hectare. The maximum value of the direct grant cannot exceed the equivalent in lay of 280,000 euros. The Bucharest government 
tasked the finance ministry with hiring a law firm to represent Romania in the court case with the famous pharmaceutical company Pfizer. The case is pending before the Francophone Court of First Instance in Brussels and the first hearing is on February 20. The Romanian authorities were notified last December by the New York-based firm regarding the opening of a lawsuit for the recovery of sums of money after failing to finalize the purchase of 28 million doses of COVID vaccine. Poland and Hungary have also been sued by Pfizer for similar reasons. The Romanian health minister Alexandru Rafila has recently said that Romania will collaborate with the Polish side in the defense effort. And that was the news coming to you from Bucharest, Radio Romania International.